Well, let's see again how Harrison was caught. There's the right hand right down the tube. Lovely shot, hit him flush, and Aldi Harrison then just for momentarily had to take a backward step. Into the third round. Williams has the power, Harrison has the boxing skill. We always knew that was going to be the case. But has Harrison got the power within that skill to keep Williams at bay? And Williams is going looking for him again. Well, I suppose Danny Williams, after the Klitschko fight, probably said to himself, you know, he'd been sitting on the sidelines for, for quite a while, and he's decided now to get back up and get in the game. Harrison again doing precious little here. Williams looking for the opportunity, looking for the opening. Trying to spear Harrison behind that jab, but Harrison parries it with ease. A much more tentative look now from Harrison. Uh, well, he might have, because that shook him, no doubt about it. That punch in the second round really shook Audley Harrison. Well, this fight's warming up quite nicely. Scheduled to go 12 rounds, let me remind you. Commonwealth title is at stake. Not a hard pace, because there's not a lot of punches being thrown. But the ones that are... We're all coming from Danny Williams at this present moment in time. Neat defensive skills, though, from Harrison as he just parried that lunge forward by Williams. Oh, good jab from good jab from Williams, though. Williams, such an inconsistent fighter over the years, but he has been really up for this one. Refused to go to the press conference yesterday. Well, he turned up, but refused to share the podium with Audley Harrison. He said. If, uh, if I get up there with him, it might just kick off here right now. Left hook to the body from Williams. There's a good scoring shot. Oh, that's good hand speed from Harrison. Yeah, you can see what Harrison is doing. He's pacing himself. He's just pacing himself. He's not exerting himself because he expects this fight to go long. And he's just hoping that Danny Williams falls apart. If he can just keep picking him off and just planting one or two nice cute counter punches like what he just did. He's hoping that Williams will lose concentration and he can take over in the second half of the fight. It was a really neat little left uppercut thrown from Harrison. It was a quality shot. Harrison, who now lives in Las Vegas with his American wife, trains with Fel Torrance, who learnt the trade with the legendary Eddie Futch. Williams, good is waiting. Williams is waiting much too long now and he's allowing Harrison to just dictate. Head had work going in there from Williams I think he's put, got away for, got away with it Harrison having a little complaint about that one Del Torrance also training Hasim Rackman now the WBC champion following the retirement of Vitaly Klitschko and it has to be said that the heavyweight division the world heavyweight division at the moment does not set the pulse racing there really is a great opportunity for either of these two men Well, Danny Williams is corner telling him that Audley Harrison's terrified, but that's a good shot. Yeah, that's a lovely counter punch. Little step back, delivered a straight left. I've got Harrison just edging this now. Williams taking the second round. The first one was certainly close. Duke scored that one level. And I reckon that Harrison did enough, maybe just to edge the third round. Harrison's old and unlike an octopus, he really is. When he gets in close, he doesn't want Danny Williams punching on the inside, so he tries to nullify it. Well, I suppose you've got to say it's smart from Harrison because he, what, the last thing he wants to get into is some sort of barroom brawl with a man who he knows is a puncher. Crowd would still like to see a little bit more action. They want to see somebody commit themselves. Here comes Williams. The head went in. Trying to Mike. ruffle Harrison, nothing meaningful thrown. Harrison, a little bit of blood maybe around his left eye. Yeah, it looks that way, John. Could have been the clash of heads that did it. And, and he's, he's just dabbing at it. He knows. Oh, good body shots. Two good, solid shots from Williams. Yeah, Harrison looks like he's cut. He keeps, he keeps dabbing at the eye. But they were good, good body shots from Danny Williams. Sunk them in and he would have felt that. 
which is right around the nick of the left eye. It won't be affecting his vision, but will it deteriorate? Will it worsen as the fight unfolds? And the crowd now is starting to cheer for Danny Williams. Williams is goading Harrison as much as to say your punches are nothing. Remember, he said in the run-up to this, he punches like a girl. Well, Harrison was hit him, hit him with a straight left counter there, and it made Williams blink. Well, Williams went for the, for the bingo punch, he went for a roundhouse right, he missed, and then he got countered with a straight left from Harrison. Harrison's fighting a very cautious round now, but obviously with the, the slight cut that he's got over his eye he's been even more cautious good job from Williams Harrison well and truly beaten to that punch and another one Harrison looking a little bit tentative and a little bit uncertain it's a slow pace to this fight it's a slow pace this is what Harrison wants though he wants a slow pace because he knows that he'll probably last it better because you know um, William's concentration might just start to sag later in the fight that's what he's hoping Williams plodding forward he's never exactly been Sugar Ray Leonard when it comes to footwork but he does have the power if he can just close off the ring and get in range of Harrison uh, Williams just not doing enough though he's following him around but he's not doing enough a few cheers again from the crowd in the closing seconds see is really not much more than a nick and they've done a good job getting uh, getting some grease on that but here's where it happened and it's a clash of heads yeah it looks that way like a clash of heads but it, it's not going to impair the vision the blood won't run into the eye and stop his sight from from, from um, all the others from seeing clearly it's a bit of a chess match in the fight here comes Har here comes williams trying to unload i've certainly got Audley Harrison, the taller man in the white shorts, trimmed with yellow, just edging this one at the moment, but Williams starting fast in the fifth. Yeah, Danny Williams needs more than that now, he needs to just back that up, reinforce th this kind of a pace, he needs to just get right on top of Audley Harrison and work with both hands. Jeers again from the crowd, they want to see these two really open up. Harrison will not want that, no way. Body shot once more from Williams. The Williams should do his normal thing, just keep moving around to the left. Keep moving around to the left, that opens up his right hand. You can drop that in and then throw the left hooks. This is better. There he goes, all the aggression is coming from the 32-year-old from Brixton. You know, and the crowd have really sort of warmed to Williams, they really have. It's not really doing a great deal from Harrison. He's just feeling his way in with those punches. No great authority in that jab. I've just got a feeling that Harrison's saving himself for the second half of this fight. I figure he probably saying to himself, if he starts off too soon, then he will be really blowing hard in the second half. And if, and if that's when Williams comes on, he's going to need every resources of his energies that he's got left. Harrison just stumbled backwards there. Every time Danny Williams lands to Aldi Harrison, he blinks profusely. I think Harrison, I think Harrison is not winning this round. I think this is a round for Williams. Good body shots. And the right over the top. He's trying to bully Harrison. Yeah, it's a good round for Williams. Harrison knows that this man can punch now. Frank Warren imploring Williams to come forward and step on Williams. Step on Harrison. Take the fight to him. banging the side of the ring well Williams is just following Harrison around the ring he's not cutting him off he's just following him around he's not working his way in well Williams has got to throw shots in here Harrison just spearing him with that long right hand lead a reach advantage of four or five inches and he's making it pay Has Williams done enough to win this yeah, one? Yeah, I, th I think so, John. What work's been done in this round has come from Williams. So, up until this point, I've been inclined to give him the round. 
close round, but in some senses still a phony war. Again, Duke, they were saying that Audley Harrison is terrified. Get inside and throw your punches. How are you scoring it, incidentally? Well, I've got it dead level at the moment. I hate to sit on the fence, but, you know, it's going from one round to the next. I've got one round even, but the rest of the rounds I've got shared between them equally. Can Williams do what he's being implored to do by everybody on that far side of the ring in his corner? Is he going to be able to now throw more punches and carry the attack to the taller and very, very loquacious Audley Harrison? Well, Williams doesn't have to try and land cleanly with the jab to the head. He's got a big target in front of him, just has to flick the jab, use it as a nuisance value just to get close enough and then deliver the bombs. Harrison's, for his part, just needs to keep pumping his right-handed southpaw jab and keep piling up the points. Harrison has only gone the 12-round distance once. That was uh, when he fought Julius Francis, and that was a very dull fight indeed a couple of years ago. Williams has gone the 12-round distance five times, so he knows all about digging deep and going into the trenches. Is that going to be a key factor? Is that experience going to serve Williams well? I've got nothing in it at all on my card either get the impression that one big round one way or the other could be absolutely crucial at this stage yeah, I, I make you right John you know the crowd are getting a little bit restless now because there's not enough work coming from both boxes slow hand clapping they want to hear more they want to see more good jab from, from Williams but just a single shot yeah but it's Williams who's been spurred into action now at least he's flicking his shots, at least he's trying to work his way in. He is the aggressor in this round. Well, Harrison, when he fought his uh, American debut, when he fought against Robert uh, Davis, he was jeered by the crowd on that occasion. That's a good jab from Williams, that's a quality shot. And he was jeered that time when he fought in the States because of that cautious approach in the early stages. But then, of course, he found the quality shots to take his man out in the seventh. Boy, he's a very patient boy, he's uh, Audley Harrison, you should call him a boy, he's a lot bigger than me. <laughs> a big boy. He's a big boy, yeah. He's a very patient man. And what he's just doing now, just flicking the jab and just prepared, biding his time, just trying to pick up the points. Williams has got to find that bingo punch. He landed a really solid right hand in that second round, remember, and Harrison was stunned by that. But Harrison now is settling into that rhythm a little bit behind the jab. Here comes Williams. But no damage done. Yeah, there's just a, an easier flow in Harrison's work at the moment in this round. You know, he's not snapping the jab, he's just pushing it, but he's landing with it. You know, the referee's watching, the judges are watching, obviously. Good jab from Harrison, he's using his mobility now. And it, is it just me, or is Williams' work rate such that it has been? Is he starting to slow? Well, he hasn't done a lot in that round, John. I think he gave the round away. 